Hi guys, this is a day in the life of a sixth former vlog. Of course, it's a bit more difficult to film because we're not in school, but it's basically just to help you understand how a day in the life of sixth form is a lot different compared to a day in the life of high school. So, as most of you will already know, we get into school between 8 and 8.30 and then we go to form at 8.35. I have Miss Godwin and Miss Murphy as my form tutors and they're amazing. However, form at sixth form is a lot different. It's more fun, we play games, we see another side of the teachers come out because we grow a lot closer to them. We also do have serious times though where we talk about UCAS, personal statements, our futures, careers and universities. Itching. Yeah. <laughs> However, on a Thursday, we don't go to form, we go straight over to the junior school where we do our reading discovery, where we read with the children from reception all the way up until year six. And it's so cute, you make really strong connections with them and you help them develop their reading skills. So then after form, I would head to my first lesson at 8.50 until 9.50, which would be maths with Mr. Austin. Mainly because, why are you laughing? <laughs> Classes in sixth form are a lot smaller. So in my maths class, there's only four of us, which means we get a lot more one-to-one -one attention and we get close with the teachers and we just have a fun time. So then after maths, for second period, I would have a free. So I'd just go up to the common room and go to my group's little corner, which we decided to decorate. And you can too. You just need fairy lights, pictures, pillows, um, blankets, things like that. For me personally, I think freeze are very useful to help you catch up on work, especially if you've had a busy weekend and weren't able to get everything done. You can get it done in your freeze, ready for the lesson and the week ahead of you. During this time, you can just chill, you can take a nap, you can go on your phone, or you can take this time to catch up on work or get extra work and extra reading done. Then as usual, we'd have break at 10 to 11 until 10 past 11. So you can go down to the canteen and get food if you want, or you can just stay up in the common room and make your own food. You can make cups of tea, you can make pot noodles, toast, anything you want, just bring it along and you can make it. After the third lesson, which would be drama. Again, the class size is really small, giving us more um, attention and enabling us to get close to the teachers. It's my hockey time. Welcome back to Ruby. <laughs> then after my drama lesson, I would have fourth period free again and I'll just head up to the common room, maybe catch up on some more work or just chill and talk to my friends. And then it's lunchtime at 10 past one and because I didn't have a lesson fourth, it means you can go down and get in the queue earlier so you don't have to wait and you can get food much quicker. Or if you don't like the canteen food, you can just head out, you can go to Mackey's, you can go to cafes for your lunch, or you could even go home. So the only day that we have afternoon registration is on a Monday. So you've got to make sure if you go out for lunch or you go home, you need to be back in for 2pm because we're in form 2 until 2.30. And in this time, we just again talk about our futures, um, uni applications, our personal statements and all helpful things like that. However, every other day of the week, we don't have afternoon reg. So if you go out at lunchtime and you don't have a lesson last, you can just go out and then stay home. You don't have to come back to school unless it's a Monday. So then if you do have a lesson fifth and you haven't gone home, it of course starts at 25 to three. So just make sure you get there on time. For fifth, I would have biology. Well, no, I'll get, no, I'll get you. Yes, this can go in your practical books. So then after fifth, you can go home and that's the end of the day and get ready for a whole new day again tomorrow. <laughs> so I hope this A Day in the Life of a Sixth Former Vlog really helped you understand how sixth form life is completely different to high school life, how much more freedom you have, how much closer you grow to your teachers and overall it's just a fun experience and I would definitely recommend coming to our sixth form.